Hello, Wise 95 gamers. Today, we're continuing with more of the Chinese New Year tea event, and we're also probably gonna play Blackjack. I don't wanna play Blackjack, but I need my weekly points. Here we go, it is day two. Uh, now, the leader of the Dragon Dance Troupe, the very head of the dragon himself, is most fond of the Grand Theater's secret Char Siu Bao recipe. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Uh, when the Dragon Dance Troupe used to visit Chinatown all those years ago, as soon as the performance was done, the shopkeeper would le uh, lead the troupe over to the Grand Theater, and without them needing to utter a single word, a batch of steamed buns would be ready and waiting for them. Huh, that's tradition. Oh, yep, yeah, we got the pork. Okay, that I got yesterday. For some reason, I couldn't do part two of this event yesterday, even though I did it before maintenance, which is weird. Normally, I can, so... I guess I have it set to day by days. That's a little odd, but whatever. Uh, the quality of a batch of steamed buns also depends on the ingredients selected. The filling should be slightly fatty. Could you find me some decent meat for making cha sui pork? Yeah, and that's the weird thing is like I was able to get that yesterday, but I wasn't able to like actually continue with the event yesterday. It was weird. I don't know why. Um, oh, we got Wu Chang in here. Hello. How's it going? Master of Yi, huh? The once thriving antique shop gradually fell into a slump after the old shopkeeper retired. Most of the time, there's only one assistant working there. Now, the shop is in the hands of the apprentice brought up by the old shopkeeper. In recent years, she's been busy traveling the world, all but turning her back on the antique shop and its fate. Uh, Antiquarian, are you still paying taxes on this? <laughs> She'll be back in Chinatown in a few days. But, quite shockingly, it'll be as a member of the Dragon Dance Troupe. Needless to say, the old antiques among the local community have all made up their minds about her already. That seems more like a bad thing, like she abandoned the shop. I hope she still supports it in some way. Freaking antique dealer. Alright, hi Mind's Eye, what's up? When the leader of the Dragon Dance Troupe visited Chinatown a few years ago, Rumors were going around that he forced his troop to abide by his strict code of discipline. Each movement was expected to be executed perfectly, without exception. I've always reg uh, regretted the fact that I couldn't make it to the show back then. But anyway, the members of the Dragon Dance troupe have all changed now, and I can't wait to see what they can do. I see. I like that she has a little dragon uh, toy. I don't really know what you would call that. It's really cute. Huh. Okay, let's give her the freaking pork or whatever. Uh, the quality of a batch of steamed buns also depends on ingredients selected. Okay, I, I figured that would be the same dialogue. Here you go. There is the pork for you. Oh, what the heck is that? Actually looks pretty good. Uh, the perfect mix of fat and lean. You certainly have an eye for quality. Char Siu Bao, which I still don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, <laughs> is a famous Cantonese snack from Guangzhou and consists of a soft, doughy exterior packed with a sweet and salty filling, a balanced blend of honey, soy sauce, and various other seasonings. Char Siu Bao belongs to the large steamer category of tea snacks. Tea snacks in this uh, category feature a doughy exterior, usually made with yeast added to the mix. We serve tea snacks of various kinds, with varying prices, appealing to all customers alike. A tea house never picks its customers, whether they're a respectful lady or gentleman, a paperboy or a coachman. As long as they enter the grand theater, they're all welcome to eat their hearts or eat to their hearts content. That's kind. Guests from the East can find the taste of home at the Grand Theater, and those trying our offerings for the first time are guaranteed a pleasant surprise they're sure to come back for. Uh, so the Dragon Dance Troupe leader's favorite dish is Char Siu Bao? That's right. Dragon dancing takes a great amount of physical strength to practice and perform especially for the performer in charge of the dragon's head. Char Siu Bao is perfect for filling your belly and warming you up even in the coldest weather. Uncover the steamer and you'll see what we call birdcage Char Siu Bao. With a soft snow white bun and crowned with a little smile, a small crevice shaped like a slightly open mouth, revealing the succulent reddish meat filling. 
Yo, I'm kind of getting hungry now, what the heck? Uh, I still remember the master chomping down on those buns so excitedly that the sauce oozed out all over the place. Although, I'm sure it must have burned his mouth slightly. The sweet flavor soothed his taste buds, and after repeatedly reflecting on the taste, he was finally willing to swallow. I see. Must be a really yummy treat. Uh, I know it's a lot to take in, but let's see if you've been paying attention. Tell me, what is the secret behind the Char Siu Bao's small opening? Oh, well, um, I thought I was about to be quizzed, but uh, yeah, I guess it's the birdcage shape. Oh, uh, the secret is to make the bun in the shape of a birdcage. <laughs> One piece of brain rise ruined my head, bro. I can't. My brain is destroyed. All I can think about when I hear birdcage is Doflamingo. Oh, uh, whatever. Uh, right again. This is the only way the Char Siu Bao's slight opening can be achieved without revealing its filling, and is the ultimate test of a chef's ability. I still remember when the Dragon Dance Troupe first came to the Grand Theater. The guests and staff had never seen such strange costumes before. It was quite the scene. That's when the old costumes stored in your antique shop were placed there. By understanding the appearance of each troop member in advance, you'll also come to understand the guests you plan on entertaining. I see, well, let's head back to the antique shop and we can get ourselves the uh, graffiti for Gamekeeper. Yeah, these are really cute, dude. Very, very cute. We go back in and oh, I guess Painter's here now. Hey, Edgar. Uh, Beck, are you? I just dug up these old performance costumes from the warehouse. And it wasn't easy, let me tell you. <laughs> Good lord, it is dusty in there. It's been a while since anyone tried sorting out these old things. But don't let that deter you. This costume is so heavy, especially the headpiece. I can only imagine how much of a pain it must be to perform in this thing. <sighs> Now, we just need to get rid of this dust, and we'll be able to see what it's supposed to look like. All right, uh, complete to a- Yo, I get clues from this? Yo, I'm actually- Oh, oh, okay, hold on. Wait a minute, we gotta play Osu here, I guess. Yeah! Dragon horns, ooh. Pointing slightly upward and extending backward with natural curves, radiating a bright golden luster all over. Both left and right sides are accompanied by streaming tufts of hair that emit a dynamic beauty. I see. All right, more Osu gameplay. <laughs> we got the dragon's mouth here. The dragon's mouth is slightly ajar, forming a whistling shape. And its lower jaw is decorated with a two-tone green and gold pattern, adorned with two knots symbolizing good luck. So uh, is this like how a lot of like the parades would go? Like when they actually have people coming in to do like dragon dances? This is really fascinating. Like I've, I've seen this kind of stuff in videos before, but I've never like actually extensively like looked into it. It's really fascinating to learn about, honestly. Uh, good job. Can you guess the position of the dragon dance troop member to whom this costume belongs? Uh, the dragon. Oh, guys, I think it's the tail. <laughs> mm, that's right. The most prominent feature of the entire puppet is the majestic dragon head. With its eyes wide open, its mouth slightly ajar, and gorgeous golden embellishments absolutely all over it, it's the crown jewel of the dragon troop. The leader of the Dragon Dance Troupe exudes confidence, and this outfit was made just for him. Fascinating. End of day two. Cool. We got some clues for that. Not a lot, but you know, a good amount. Do you have anything to say, or is it just the... Okay, it's just the... Just the standard stuff. Alright, cool. Alright, do you have more things to say? Oh, this is probably his like default. Yeah, okay, that's his, his default little dialogue there. All right, well, there we go. There's day two, only two more days to go. How about that? Okay, before we jump into Black Tide, there's one quick thing I need to do. Uh, and it's something that I should have done at the beginning of the video, and that is not summon this, but I was actually very kindly gifted uh, the Mitsuji Kamata Soul Weaver uh, costume here. Let's take a look, yes. I was gifted this by Sanji Vinsmoke. Uh, I guess we're going back to the One Piece references here. Uh, and they say, hi Zs, I hope nobody got you her yet. I, I know you wanted her, so here, happy 10K. Thank you so much for the uh, 10 thousand subscriber present here. Uh, getting this one, uh, this Soul Weaver costume is awesome because I think of the Mitsuji Kamata crossover characters, 
uh, Soul Weaver's costume was probably the coolest one of the bunch, in my opinion. Like, look at this. It's a freaking mechanical, like, steampunk spider. How can you not find that cool? Like, come on, dude. Let's send our thank you letter and accept the very awesome Soul Weaver costume. Oh, boy. I don't have Soul Weaver unlocked, unfortunately, and I don't think she's free today, but... When Soul Weaver is free again, we'll be sure to play with this skin. Alrighty, now we can hop into Blackjack. Yay. Now, I think I've made it very, very clear that I absolutely despise this mode. It's an extremely evil mode where even if you kite like a god, it won't matter because everybody is your enemy. Everybody's your enemy. Like You can be playing so well and then you just get pass carded and you lose. Or you can just straight up get unlucky. Like sometimes the cards that I've got was like 10. 10, 9, 8, it's like, I, what are you supposed to do against that? And you know, on the other hand, sometimes you get stupidly lucky, like you'll get like 1, 1, 2, 3, it's like, the game is so much luck. Like, yes, there are strategies and skills, and there are some characters that are good, like Gamekeeper, Embalmer, Gardener, but in general, it is just not a fun game mode, in my opinion, because you just lose to luck, and it feels like all the time that you put into doing the mode, okay, I got a 2, which is honestly not that bad of a card to start off with, if you, the, the first card that you'll get is always going to be between 1 and 5, um, I'm pretty sure at least so if you get a uh, five usually you'll become the hunter All right, see what I like playing antiquarian here is that as you can see in the top left I can I have a, a flute debuff sometimes that's how I can always tell people are nearby I think antiquarian is really really good in this mode because obviously she has um The flute where she can smack the hunter around it has less durability than usual But she can hit people which is still really nice, but I can also sense when teammates are nearby So if they're gonna try and pass card me or sabotage me, I can always transition a little bit early Yeah, so teleport actually has a 10 second cooldown in this mode for those who don't know So some of the smart things to do sometimes if you really don't want to get chased is to not be on a cypher Whenever you know that teleports up so teleports up he might teleport here He's probably chasing Garner So he's probably not going to but when he gets Garner down if he teleports to my cypher I am actually completely free because once once the countdown hits like 25 seconds as antiquarian if you have a full flute you're basically free like as long as you're in a good area like this I can just stun three times and just like drop down a pallet and I'll be fine like, There's nothing to worry about which is why antiquarian is pretty good in this mode But there we go. We decoded two full ciphers meaning we got 200 points meaning we could buy a discard card if we need it But we don't need it right now. So let's just hold on to our points. We get a three. Okay. We're getting pretty lucky so far We've got a two and then a three Luckily, I haven't got like a 7 or an 8 or a 9 or a 10. Like, whenever you get the big number cards, that's what sucks, dude. All right, here's what I like to do. I don't want to take the chase right now, so I'm going to get off a of Cypher so he can't teleport to me. All right, he teleports, so now he can't teleport for 10 seconds, and he's probably going to be, like, on the chase of somebody else. Okay, he got the Enchantress down. Um, so I I'm chilling right now. I'm actually just chilling. Oh, he actually just opts to take the Enchantress card, ends the round early so that we can't get any more points. That's fair. Yeah. I love decoding, bro. <laughs> five that's okay that's fun yeah I, I should let you know that i'm a very passive blackjack player i am not aggressive like in the slightest because i want to avoid making enemies in this mode because making enemies in this mode is not what you want to do in the slightest all right well there's round three we've got 369 points we're doing fine right now we're doing fine our card is another five okay we're getting like pretty moderate luck honestly uh, it could be a lot worse i could be getting tens nines eights we're starting to, we're getting like fives and under which is pretty lucky Ooh, helember is a choice as a hunter um i'm still gonna play it safe though all right i am actually gonna use a discard card here my lower level one just because um i have too many points so i do get rid of one of my fives which is really good so now i've only got 10 points i mean that i can stay pretty safe right now so even if i were to get killed and was forced to take a card, I could not be eliminated. Like, it is impossible to eliminate me at this point unless they get pass carded. Okay, well, I feel bad for this hunter because they have not been able to get anybody down, and they're also playing Hellumber, so... Yeah, that's just unfortunate, I guess. Okay, so one person has been eliminated, so I'm guaranteed fourth place here. When you get fourth place, you I think you at least are guaranteed some points, even if it's only, like, two. Okay, we got another lucky one here. I think you're guaranteed some points if you get fourth place. I believe fourth place... It's like, it, it depends on how many, like... I don't know, it depends on like how the game goes. Sometimes you get points, sometimes you don't. I still don't really know how it works. Um, but I think I'm guaranteed to get like at least two points here. But I do not want to take the chase because Nightwatch actually isn't bad, that bad in this area. Yeah, see, if I was if I was on a cypher, he could have teleported to me and I would have been the one taking the card. That's why it's important to play passively in the later rounds, as long as you can afford to do so. Oh, okay, I only got one point, but Enchantress now has 21. So I just have to hope that uh, the hunter can kill them. 
Because if, if, if she gets if she gets blackjack, we automatically lose, and I don't think we get any points. But honestly, having 21 points is usually pretty bad, because all it does is it puts a massive target on your back, because everybody's going to want you dead. Everybody, dude. The hunter and the rest of the survivors, they're going to want to kill you. Yeah, there we go. She got down. She may have passed card of the night watch to make sure she doesn't have blackjack, but then, yeah, he can just pick her up again. All right, yeah, Enchantress has been eliminated, so I am guaranteed third place here. I haven't, like, interacted with the hunter at all. I know it's not good content, but like, I gotta play passively if I wanna try and win. And when it comes to blackjack, I wanna win, so I don't have to play it anymore. <laughs> That's my goal. Now, once again, I'm gonna play super passively. I'm not gonna go near a cypher. I'm just gonna chill out in graveyard. There's no way he's gonna see me. <laughs> unless he gets, unless he pulls a reveal card or something, there's no way. He's dashing, he's dashing, he's dashing. Oh, he's, out, he's after patient, who is? All right, he got patient, yep. Hopefully he just takes patient's card and not me. Yep, he takes Patient's card. All right, cool. Awesome, awesome. This is good. This is good. Patient might be eliminated here. Love to see. I guess I can look at look at their cards. Oh, they might not be eliminated with only four cards. Oh, wait. What the heck? The Smiley was eliminated. I guess the Patient took a really small card. All right. This is the deciding round. Let's see who wins. I've got 25, so I might become Hunter here. Um, let's see. If I become Hunter, I can actually maybe guarantee my victory. No, I'm not Hunter. Unless... No, I'm not Hunter. All right, well, I need to use a discard card here, I think. And discard that uh, that eight that I got. So now I have 17. They're playing Nightwatch. But they can see my hand. Let's see. Do they have higher points than me? But I don't think he's looking for it. He should be able to see my location. He's just walking around. Yeah, I think I just lost. Well, that's okay. I'll just have fun spinning my flute, I suppose. This is why I don't like ending of blackjack games, because sometimes it just comes down to, like, who has the higher score but isn't over 21 or something. Oh, wait. I guess I won. Huh. Did they? Could they just not see me? I'm confused. All right. I guess I won by not doing anything. Yeah, they had 26 points. That's weird. All right, cool. I won by not doing anything. Woo! Yeah. Okay, normally my blackjack games do not go this well. <laughs> now, what's nice is I did get 16 um, blackjack points for that. And whenever you get like enough blackjack points, you can actually get rewards that you can uh, get some pulls with, with the memory spheres and the rank treasures. Uh, but going through the blackjack and having to do it is just honestly not really worth it. I What I do is I get at least like 40 to 50 points. If you get around 40 to 50 points each week, you're pretty much guaranteed top 1000. I mean, now that I'm saying that out loud, some of you might start playing blackjack and those numbers might be inflated if you actually start playing blackjack as of now. Uh, so don't start playing blackjack, guys. You're gonna cry. This time we're on the Sacred Heart Hospital, which is probably the cheapest map uh, for this mode. Because people just camp in hospital. And by people, I mean me. I mean, what? I would never do such a thing. Camping in hospital? No way. The hunter's more likely to come after me, and I do actually want some action now. Um, whenever there's two people on the side, they're most likely going to come after the people who have two, so they have a higher chance of chasing somebody. Unless the geisha just doesn't feel like it. All right, I guess not. Well, I'm gonna transition, buddy. I'll see you later. You can have the rest of that cypher. I just want to get to the ruins cypher quicker because ruins is broken. Yeah, another good thing about Antiquarian is, uh, oh. Dang, he got here faster than me. What the heck is up with that? Uh, but the other thing about Antiquarian is that she has a little speed boost with her flute, so she can actually get to ciphers quicker as well. So, yeah, she's definitely top tier in this mode. Here be the geisha. Whee! Yup. She actually just opts to... Oh, confine space it up. This is when I get scared because I don't know how to cut geisha. Whee! I don't know how to cut geisha, guys. Whee! I have no more flute either. I have to force it. Yep. That's all I can do. I thought she was going to fly through it. Oh, I'm dumb. Maybe I should have, like, dropped the pod first. No? Is she just going to get me? Yeah, she's just going to get me. All right. Yeah. Um, we know I'm bad against Geisha, guys. We know this. All right. At least I got a two for my second thingy. That's good. Um, you know what? I'm going to get the discard card right away. See if I can get lucky and discard that five. Oh, I guess I'm the hunter. That's cool. Um, should I get revenge on this antiquarian? I am Nightwatch. Nightwatch is not really... Uh, uh, yeah, what the heck? I'll try it. I discard the two. That sucks. All right. Uh, well, we got Gravekeeper here. There we go. All right. He could have waited for that pallet stun, honestly. He could have waited. 
But yeah, Gravekeeper is also good in this mode because he just delays the inevitable. Characters that literally just delay the inevitable are pretty good. But we got the Cheese Keeper down. And somebody's on a Cypher here. This is a bad Cypher to go to because it's Hospital. Oh, yeah, it's Antiquarian, of course. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I'm cool with this. I'll break this pallet. I should probably not be chasing Antiquarian here. What the? That looked weird. Did you see that? That looked really freaking weird. All right. Uh, all right. I guess I got my revenge. Um, she only has one card. Nah. You're too far ahead of everybody. You have only have one. Please take your five back. It'd be funny. Take your five back. Please. No. <laughs> she took my three. You should have taken your five back. I don't want to look at this magician, bro. Oh, yeah. There it is. Oh, there's the 10. Yep, there's my blackjack luck. And so I'm back to the hunter, of course. All right, I think I just have to sweep here. I have to just like be really, really good at the game and start sweeping. Otherwise, I'm just gonna die. Immediate wind. All right, I think I get... All right, sure, I guess. Let's teleport over here. This is a good area. I know where they're gonna go though, over here. Boing. Yep, another gravekeeper. Gonna drop the pallet, makes sense. Wind is ready, he'll hop and shovel. Hop and shovel, hop and shovel, nope. Okay, now, yeah, now he hops and shovel. Okay, I have to keep a good eye on him this time. Watch where the burrowing is. He's going for this. Okay, he can pallet stun me again. Yeah, <laughs> my goodness, dude. He just wants to keep pallet stunning me. This is why I don't like it. I don't, this is why I don't like this map. I really don't like this map. Come on, all right, this is a hit, this is a hit. Guaranteed. Night watch gaming, night watch gaming. Um. I guess I'll chase these guys. Slow wind, wee, wee. Down you, there we go. All right, see, we're getting plenty of points here. We're getting plenty of points. And if Antiquarian wants to get back up, she wants to self heal, I can just kill her. Well, she also has no escape option, so there's no point in doing it. I don't even know where a journalist is. Oh, there you are. Hi. I'm just gonna walk through it. Doofius! <laughs> I thought I'd be able to outspeed him. It's fine. All right, she shouldn't have a Doofius ready. Down she goes. Okay. Um, I will take... Or I will make you give me a card. Okay, you need to choose my 10. Please choose my 10. Choose my 10 and get eliminated. Yes! Woo! We did it. I think she's... Yeah, because she had 14 points. Oh, baby. She took my 10. Oh, that was beautiful. That was so good. That was such a good round. I got so many downs. The ten, She took my 10 card. All right, we're back in it now. You see what I mean, guys? You see what I mean by my luck? I, you can do so well. You can have such a good round, and then you can just get unlucky by getting a freaking 10. Nope, I'm staying the heck away. Nope, she wants, she's gonna She's gonna pass card. See, the thing is, I hate having news because I always have to, I'm so scared of pass card that I'll literally give up my cypher for other people because they always are like, ooh, I wanna come to you. I could have just pass carded her there, but I'm not a bully. I don't like using pass cards. I like trying to win without pass cards. Anyway, I have enough points for a discard card here, and 100%, I don't care how many points. It, leave me alone, get away from me. I pass card when I'm desperate. That's the only time I ever pass card. Antiquarian, no, leave me alone. Gosh, she keeps stealing my ciphers and getting all the points because I'm too scared of her. Oh my gosh, this Antiquarian will not stop stalking me. Jeez. All right, nobody was eliminated this round. No, not a 10. Thank goodness, finally. All right, the cheese keeper has 21 points. Stay back, I have a pass card. All right, well, who the heck is going to be the hunter is the question. I have a feeling it's going to be the embalmer. I don't know why. I just have a feeling. There's no way it's me. I have seven points. I'm chilling, bro. Don't chase me. Go for blackjack. You are blackjack, buddy. Oh, I see. Okay, that that was smart. See, that's that's what a lot of players will do when they when they get blackjack. They'll just immediately like discard card or something just to immediately get rid of their 21 points because you don't want to have 21. Why on me? Hello? Why on me? I don't understand. I messed up. Dude, this is why I can't kite Geisha. I just can't do it, bro. Why do you hate me? What do you have against me? Jeez, leave me alone. Oh my gosh. Leave me, this antiquarian actually hates me. Leave me alone. Yeah, see, she, she can just sit on the freaking thing because I'm scared. Where she's like, oh, I'll just chill all here because you have to be the one who has to be scared. And now I have no way of getting rid of cards anymore. I have to pass card. So I think I just lose. I actually just lose right now. Oh, am I, oh wait, hold on. Helenberg got 21 points. Does that mean? Wait, I'm still in it though. I'm still in it. Okay. I'm actually still in this. All because of somebody getting that. All right, I have to play it risky. I'm, either, I'm dead either way. I have to play it risky here. Oh, wait. If I can't, wait a minute. 
I'm actually still in this now. Just a second. The only issue is it's a freaking embalmer, which sucks, man. Yeah, because he can set up the stupid coffin. This is why I hate embalmer, dude. Bummer's so cheap in this game mode. He's actually so cheap. Because he's going to run away as far away from his coffin as possible. I mean, I can I can go back up to his coffin, but I have to down him again. That's the thing. There's no way I can do that in time. Because there's no coffin up to... Who would do such a thing, man? Who would use a pass card to pass out one onto me, man? I can't do it because Embalmer is the cheap... Dude, Embalmer's such free wins, man. Embalmer's so cheap. Um, Embalmer should be banned in this mode. That's so cheap. Like, what are you actually supposed to do against that, huh? He sets up Coffin. He's actually the best character in this mode because he literally sets up his Coffin in a broken area, runs to the opposite side of the map. So free, man. No. Don't play Embalmer. Stop. He's so broken in this mode. He's actually the best character in this mode. I think, like, Embalmer Gamekeeper is, like, probably, like, the best two characters. Because Gamekeeper, he can get stupidly a good amounts of points somehow. I don't know how he works. I just know he gets a lot of points. But uh, Embalmer's actually busting this mode, bro. Okay, we're back on Red Church. <sighs> See, at least Embalmer's not as powerful in this one. That's why, that's why I hate Hospital, because people, like I said, like I said at the beginning of the, the game, people just camp out in Hospital. That's exactly what the Embalmer did. I'm the Hunter with a... Hold on, what? Nah, I guess I am. They all have one and two, so I'm the only three. That's uh, interesting. All right, um, I don't know where the embalmer is, but I would love to get the embalmer down, honestly. Oh, okay. Does she know she can't do anything? Um, most players won't do that. Okay, that's a coordinator. I don't know where the, oops, I teleported the wrong one. Oh, there's somebody here anyway. What are they doing? This is actually so weird. No, nobody plays like this. What? I'm so confused. Can we have somebody who will actually run away, please? Here we go. Antiquarian, woo! Oh, she still has her speed. All right, yeah, see, Antiquarian's good, guys. Thing is, I don't, I don't dislike Antiquarian, though. I think she's cool. I think she's a cool, stylish character. Um, but... Oh, that actually hit? No way, bro. Hold on. She still has one more swing. I baited it out, there we go. See, all I have to do is just bait it out. That's all you have to do with Antiquarian. Okay, let's hope the Mind's Eye will give me more free points here. Yep. I don't know why they're doing that. That's a little odd. Um, I could probably get a Coordinator down in 38 seconds with full Prez Night Watch, surely. Yep, gonna go to this. Ooh, I should have jumped over that, hold on. That should have been a jump, yeah. Okay. Um, if I can't get her down, I'll just go back to the Mind's Eye. Yeah. Dude, need your reflex, dude. Oh my gosh. She's trying to go to an open area. No way that wasn't a trade, man. Okay, I'm going back to the mind's eye. Nope. I'm going back to the mind's eye, bro. Oh, she's still down. Okay. Yeah. I mean, that's the thing about being... The, the bad thing about being hunter in first is because all the pallets are still available. That's what kind of sucks. Also, picking mind's eye in this mode is, like, awful. She's actually, like, the worst character in this mode. Because uh, I don't even know if you get your decoding buff. I actually have no idea. I don't know how it works. But yeah, um, Mind's Eye sucks in this mode. But yeah, being Hunter first also sucks because all the pallets and whatnot are still available. It's usually best to just pallet spam early on because you literally sabotage. Oh, I think the Mind's, yeah, Mind's Eye is now the Hunter. Um, I wonder if she's just going to throw. That'd be funny. Nope. But yeah, see, he can't do anything. So what we do is we just pallet spam. We literally just pallet spam because we break all the pallets, make it so that we have easy... But we make it easy for us by spamming the pallets. Um, but make it hard for the hunters. Because that will waste all the pallets. So that way, if I become hunter again, uh, they won't have it, right? That's that's the whole point, is they won't have it anymore. And also, by doing this, I just get a stupid amount of points. So, boing, tons of speed. Let's transition toward this area over here. And Bomber sets up his coffin. Um, yeah, I can make it to the window. It's gonna go around. But we dropped the pallet. Oh, he, he used his flare. He used his flare, buddy. All right, let's see if I can get him to break this pallet here. Cause this is this is a good pallet. Oh, oh, oh. Will he swap? Will he swap? No, he messed up. He messed up. Oh wait, I'm dumb. Uh, that's the puppet, right? Oh, that was him actually. Okay, I forgot he uh, had the puppets. When he got the puppets, he started cooking. But it's okay. That was a long chase. That was a very long chase. So I got plenty of points from that. Um. Three. I'll take it, bro. I'll take it. Okay. That wasn't bad, though. That wasn't a bad round. I, what I should have done is I should have turned around and just hit him with my stick. But I thought the red light was the puppet and not him. 
Ooh, we got a nine. That kind of sucks. Um, should I just regular discard card or? No, I should discard card level two, I think. Yeah, I'm gonna discard card level two. Oh, Disciple. I hate Disciple in this mode, bro. The thing is, Disciple is so good at securing one hit, like without much like effort. And that's all you need in this mode. You just need one hit as a hunter. Um, thanks for letting me know where the hunter is, speaking of. Okay, she, she's busy chasing somebody else, it looks like. Yeah, so I'll just decode. I just I just don't like fighting this character, man. And yeah, people are just instantly doing it. That's interesting. Oh, come on, man. Seriously? 9 to 10. What's up with that? I just used up all my points, and I'm about to lose. That's stupid, dude. That's so dumb. The Embalmer hasn't even been, like, chased at all. Look, oh, one, one. He, dude, the Embalmer's chilling right now, dude. He is actually just chilling. Oh, okay. Yep, yeah, see, that's the thing. When you have a target on your back, you immediately wanted to get rid of it. That makes sense. All right, they might give up stuff to Mind's Eye or to me. Nah, they're gonna, they're gonna... Okay, Mind's Eye is actually just, like, getting dogpiled right here. It kind of sucks. Um, but she might have enough points to live right now. I mean, I'm dead next round, unless I can get, like seven more points to get another discard card and hopefully it discards my 10. I think I'm just get I think I'm just dead no matter what, bro. This sucks. I'm getting such high cards. Oh, this sucks, man. I need to get my discard card and I need to get lucky. I need it to be Why am I the hunter? Oh no, I don't have enough points. I don't have enough points. I can't I have to go after the mind's eye, but she's probably going to have a pass card maybe. Um Yup. Oh my gosh! 44! This is why this mode is stupid. 44 points! This is why pass card is the dumbest thing. The stupidest thing, man. They were both waiting for me to teleport there, and they doubled. Did you see that garbage? This is why Blackjack is the worst mode. It's so stupid. Why is it so stupid, man? Why is it so stupid? Why is it so stupid? Even if I were to do anything, I can't, I literally can't do anything. I, I can't use cards as a hunter. This is stupid, man. This is so stupid. Double pass card. Double pass card, man. That's ridiculous. That's actually ridiculous. 44 points. That's the dumbest thing I've ever seen. Anyway, guys, I hope you take that as a lesson as to why you should literally never play blackjack because no matter what you do, no matter how good you are at the mode, you're always gonna lose to pass card. Like until they remove pass card from blackjack, I'm never gonna find it enjoyable ever, never. It's just, it's such a bad mode because pass card exists. It's so stupid. The game mode is literally designed on betraying and like being evil. Like it's such a horrible game mode, dude. I genuinely think it's worse than Hunter rank. I genuinely do. It's so bad. And it sucks because it's the only game mode in this game. Like it's the only entertainment game mode that gives points. Like every other one of these are like fun in some way, right? But none of them give any rewards. But Blackjack for some reason gives rewards. But why? It's horrible. It's a horrible game mode, man. And like, Lily, all they need to do is remove the pass card. If they remove the pass card, the game's fun. It's that it's honestly not that bad, but like pass card being a thing is stupid. And the fact that hunters can't use cards or like anything, stupid, dude. It's just so dumb. But yeah, either way, that's going to be it for me. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you all later. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.